Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. So we're now here uh, with a new banner for Marguerite. And um, if you haven't watched my review on Jin, you may take a look at it uh, probably somewhere up there. Uh, but uh, just to give you guys a um, a heads up, both Jin and Marguerite are going to be OP. Okay, it's just um, more or less um, depending on. What you need is either you'll be needing Jin, more of a warrior in water, and more of Marguerite, who is a mage and is of light element. So again, most of you guys don't w w will not have enough to summon for both banners. So this video would be, you know, would give you more or less an idea whether you want to prioritize Marguerite or Jin for these um, summon uh, banners. So let's move on to Marguerite's um, stats here. So for Marguerite's stats, obviously she's going to be good at magic, attack, and defense. The only thing that you need to make sure that you help her with is going to be um, her HP and her physical defense. Again, uh, if, she, if she doesn't last long, Definitely, she won't be of you know good help to you, especially if you will encounter a lot of uh, heroes that can break through your front line and go through her. She's going to be valuable in movement and ally movement and heals and damage. So again, she is a light mage and her weapon is a staff. So these are more or less your middle you know middle skills. We'll go through them in a while for traits and let's see which ones are going to be important to her. Okay, so this is this was what you saw earlier. We're gonna go be going through the middle one because the, her important skills are going to be in the in in the middle. Okay, so this one is going to be it, you saw this earlier, so random buff at the end of the action. So she's going to be getting or giving a random buff. I think this is going to be applicable to herself. Okay. So, but this, these two are going to be more important. The skill here, which is teleport an ally to random blanks in the range and the largest random buff they have. This one is going to be a game changer again, guys. And this one is going to help you in PvP. Please make sure that uh, you actually uh, would get her because of this buff. Because this is going to be her OP skill. The next one would be this one. So this is damage and buff as well. Uh, this is actually re replicating buff. So copying a buff from an enemy. So this middle line is her most important. As far as going up with the upper robe skills or going down, I don't really have right now a preference. Both are good. So this one is damage and healing. So she's a hybrid between a mage and a priest. This one is also a damage and healing as well. So restores HP. The other two, uh, this one is going to be passive. When using an active skill, um, this is going to increase her magic attack at 12%. So this is also useful, giving buffs to herself. The other one, if you want to go this route, the upper row route, is going to be a buff on a single target or a single ally. So either you buff an ally or you buff her. So depends upon you, your play style, your team construction on whether you're going to go to the up and down row. Um, as for her build, if I do summon for her uh, miraculously, um, then I will be designating my suggested build for her at that time. Okay, so we've covered all the skills here. She doesn't have a leadership skill, but she does have a bond here. Definitely, she's going to bond with Catherine. So you'll need that. Um, Catherine's her sister. And uh, you'll also need this one. This is a bond with um, Charlotte. So if you don't have Charlotte, if you didn't get Charlotte earlier, then you'll have a problem with this bond initially. And you'll definitely need to have um, the bond with her sister. Also, th these are considerations that 
I think you might need in deciding if you want to get for her. Um, the consideration between getting Jin and her is that depends on what you need at this point. Um, if you need a warrior, a DPS, go with Jin. If you need somebody who has a lot of support in her kit, probably a mage hybrid priest uh, plus can give you a lot of ability, then it will be Marguerite. So again, guys, you can never go wrong with either Marguerite or, or Jin. Um, again, both of their kits have very big merits. Both of them are very OP. They're going to be at SSS tier at some point, guys. So um, let's go through her hero experience so that you can, you know, check out how she's going to be used. Okay, so as far as her event, so it is here. Click on this one. And let's see how she's going to be played in the battlefield. Okay, so um, I know Marguerite has very good support skills. Again, um, I think she has one of the best support skills at this point. So let us see what we have here. This is... This is your teleport skill. This one is your random buff at the end of action given to her. And this one is going to be dealing points of damage to all enemies and recover. Okay. So let us move here. And um, can we teleport? No. So we'll just have to do damage at this point. There you go. Healing for your peeps so that they could survive the attack. And there you go. So we have one more. One more person to save. So I think the next time would be... Let's uh, do this here. Teleport. Teleport her anywhere. Let's save her. There you go. That's a nice skill to have. So again, that skill can be used as a defensive skill or an offensive skill because um, you might need to save someone and or to have a great offensive attack for that skill, for that teleport skill. So again, guys, that is it. So hopefully... You were able to decide already whether you're going to be getting Jin or you're going to be getting Marguerite. So again, guys, um, hope this helped. And thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.